Hey, what's up, brothers? Welcome back to my channel. Two years ago, I actually released a video on how to uh, create a slide presentation on iPhone, iPad, and especially on Android devices. But so far, especially during this period, yeah, the COVID-19, I have received a lot of requests to make a video on how to turn those slides into a, a video with voiceover and then upload that video onto YouTube. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that some of you uh, might want to run a webinar or just want to turn your slides into videos with voiceover so that you can share across the platforms, especially with your uh, teachers, friends, or your customers because you just turn what you already have into a video and then just do a voiceover on that video right okay so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get this done on your smartphones as well as on your computer okay so now let's right jump into it Well, if you are watching this video, I assume that you have already watched the video that I released two years ago on my YouTube channel on how to make slide presentation on your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. If you haven't watched it yet, please go to my YouTube channel and search for it. Okay, so now let's go with the smartphone first. Okay, so this is the slide presentation that I'm using in this video tutorial. So in order to turn this slide into a video with voiceover, all you need to do is to use the built-in screen recorder on your iOS devices. To check if you already have the screen record, just swipe down the control center from the top right over here. And then you can find this uh, built-in uh, screen record over here. This one look like this. If you don't see it here, just go to the setting of your phone and then scroll down to find the uh, control center. You can find it. And then you go to uh, customize controls over here. Customize control. And then you should see the screen recording somewhere here. So, what you need to do is just to add it. For example, like I add voice memos. So, I just click add. And then the voice memos uh, in this section, the control center section. And if I check it, you can see the voice memo is here. If I don't like it, just remove it back. Okay, then just launch your uh, slide presentation. The slides that you want to turn into a video with a voiceover. So I'm going to use the slides as I mentioned earlier. So after you open your slides, what you need to do next is to press on play. So you see the play button up here, just play. And this is what you get from your slide. What I want you to do next is to rotate your phone so that your slide is in the landscape mode. And then what you have to do, so swipe down the control center and then you can see this screen record icon here. Do not tap on it, but I want you to hold on this icon for two seconds or three seconds. So when you hold on it, you can see this feature. What I want you to do is to turn on microphone you can see the microphone here just turn it on and then make sure that you select uh, photos then press start recording okay so now I am recording my slide presentation so what you need to do next is just to go to the next slide right for example welcome to my presentation PowerPoint Tutorials 2019. In order to add pictures, what you have to do is to go to these sections or that sections. Okay. Plain, plain. Okay, so that's it. That's all for my presentation. Thank you so much. Okay. Do you have any questions? Boom. Now, my slide presentation is finished. What you have to do next is to swipe down again and press 
stop recording. So screen recording video saved to photos. You can see it here. So go to photo. Now you can check the video of your presentation. Go to the next slide, right? Example, welcome to my presentation. PowerPoint tutorials 2019. Okay, so now you get a video right from your slide presentation. And for example, if, if you look at it here, you can see uh, the slide is not ready. So actually you can just edit and you can just track this one. Yeah, where you want it to start, it's up to you. So I save video now. Okay, when I play it, it's pretty amazing. And then now I am ready to upload the, this video onto the YouTube channel. So in order to upload uh, this video onto the YouTube channel, what you have to do, yeah, you need to download YouTube app, yeah, YouTube application, and then on the top, over here, you can see the uh, video camera icon. So press on this one, and you can see the video here. This is... So if I'm ready to upload that video, Yes, just press next and see the word next and title of this video like uh, then privacy you can see here privacy here is public so if you don't want your video to be public for everybody let's say everyone can see it so you don't want to share with anyone you just want to share with a specific person so what you need to do is to select the unlisted Okay, you can see unlisted here. Yeah, unlisted. So unlisted means uh, only those who have uh, the link that you shared or, or you, you sent to can watch your video. Another one is private. So private means only you can watch that video. But for unlisted, anyone with the link can watch that video. So it is good if you're doing the assignment for teachers or if you want to share uh, video lessons with your students or friends okay or you can also share any information you want with your customers so I recommend you to go for and list it okay and then press upload yeah it's processing 95% okay so now I've got the video so this is the video tutorial. Yeah, I can press play. Welcome to my presentation. PowerPoint tutorials 2019. Okay, and if you want to send this video to anyone you want to, you can see uh, the icon here, the arrow icon. Press on it. You can copy the link here. You copy the link. So just paste the link to anyone you want to share the link with. Okay guys, so that's it for the first tutorial on how to use your smartphone to turn your slides presentation into video with voiceover. Now let's jump into another uh, way to do it as well, but on a PC. Okay guys, so now I'm opening my slide presentation on a PC and in order to turn this into video, there are two main ways that you can actually do it. Okay, so what you need to do first is to click on file, export, and then file format, change it to MP4. And then you can choose uh, the quality of your video. So presentation quality. So this is the top one, I think. Choose this one. Yeah, I leave it the same way as it is suggested. Second, span on each slide without a set timing. This means that from one slide to another, it will take five seconds. And then click export. So the video now is being exported. Okay, so it's here. So this is my slide, video slide presentation. You're welcome to my presentation. But this one, there is no voiceover. So what you have to do is to find uh, editing software that you can use in order to you know 
do the voice over i recommend you to use some free uh, softwares for example like uh, imovie maybe if you're using uh, mac os so imovie is a free software that you can use but if you're using windows you can use other free software which can be found on the internet or google or you can search like uh, online video editing there are tons of uh, websites free websites that you can use in order to do the voiceover and edit your video now let's move on to the second uh, second way to uh, turn this line into video with voiceover so this this one is uh, pretty much similar to the one i did on the phone ad that i just shown you so what i'm gonna do is to do what we call a screen record so in order to do the screen record and do the voiceover it's pretty simple so for mac os what you need to do is just to launch the quicktime player this is the built-in uh, app that can be found on all mac os and what you need to do next is to go to file you need to go to uh, screen recording and you see the drop down uh, arrow here make sure that microphone you choose uh, external microphone and when you're ready to uh, record just press on this red button okay just press on it and then just play your slide just click play here so the screen is being recorded now hi everybody so welcome to my presentation so in this presentation i'm going to share with you some tips uh, new features added on the PowerPoint software Okay, so when I'm done what I need to do is just to exit the slide and then here you can see uh, Yeah, the button here press on stop button and now I got Presentation I'm going to share with you some tips uh, new features edit on the PowerPoint Okay, as you can see, I got a video right from my side presentation and it's pretty awesome, right? Very simple way without any editing skills because this is very straightforward. Just do your voiceover and this is very good as well that you can also uh, control over uh, your presentation speed with the voiceover. You can slow down, you can make it faster, it's up to you. I will show the previews of these two videos from the computer and the smartphone so that you guys can see the quality of the two videos. So what I have to do next is to go to YouTube, your YouTube website. And then what you have to do next is to yeah, create, you see the uh, video camera icon here, which is pretty similar to the one existing on the uh, uh, YouTube app or on the smartphone. Okay, so press on this one and upload video. Then just drag the video and drop on to this one. So the video is being uploaded. As you can see here, you see the percentage of the video that is being uploaded. Okay, so just click on next, 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 next. You're ready to go. And when you go into visibility here, I suggest that you should go with and list it okay so that's it i hope you guys learn how to do all of this stuff and then you can copy the video link and paste it or send it to anyone you want to watch that video hi everybody so welcome to my presentation so in this presentation i'm going to share with you some tips uh, new features edit on the powerpoint software oh welcome to my presentation PowerPoint tutorials 2019 Korea for example so in order to add pictures what you have to do is to go to these sections or that sections okay okay guys so that's it for this tutorial and I hope you guys learned something from this and if you have any questions or any suggestion recommendation just let me know in the comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next video thanks